looks good, y'all. So, <clears throat> today, um, I want to talk to y'all about, more specifically, my sexuality and um, what I've learned about myself um, as far as, you know, what I call myself and, like, why. And this will apply to, this will apply to some of y'all, too, obviously. Um, but basically, not too long ago, I learned about this term called fluid. Now, fluid refers to um, anyone's sexuality that is subject to change over time or situation. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that my sexuality just, you know, flip every time I see, you know, a fine, a fine bitch or, you know, a fine ass nigga. No. But um, what I've come to learn about myself, at least, y'all already know I'm bisexual, but um, the thing with me, y'all know I, I'm mostly attracted to dudes most of the time. Um, but the thing also is that over the past, like, year or so, it's been, it's been two females that I've gotten close to that I just i just i just can't help i i just can't help but fuck with them like they just they're just like some of the best they're some of the best people in my life you feel me some of the two two of my favorite people honestly <clears throat> and you know what's what starts out as a friendship or just a like becomes at least Actually, you know, maybe I should start from the beginning, right? Um, originally, you know, when I first started getting into my sexual attraction period, I was looking at straight porn all the time. That's all I did until I got curious one day and looked up gay porn. And that's just how that started. I had uh, girlfriends for a while. Um, I wait, but, you know, it was never... Mo Except for one time, and that was a situation, um, it was never a love connection. It was more like a, either I'm sexually attracted to you or, you know, I just like you, we vibe, we look good together, blah, blah, blah. Um, but fast forward to now, I'm going to get into both these girls, right? Uh, so one of them is my co-worker she a little uh latina and first of all bad as fuck like bro she is bad and i actually i'm gonna say both no both of them they they fine as hell like tens i'm not i'm not playing with you um, honestly, I could probably do, you know what, one of these days, I'm gonna do a YouTube video with both of them, so y'all can see exactly what I'm talking about, I promise y'all, I got y'all, but anyway, both of them, bad as hell, but my old, uh, old girl at work, Miracle, um, y'all know my situation as far as, like, who I've come out to, and all that kind of stuff, right, um, but as aside from my homies, my cousins, uh, my mom and all that, she's one of the first people like outside of my immediate um, social group that I felt comfortable enough to tell uh, my my dear. Like I told her I was, I told her I was fluid um, because that was around the time I was learning what the term meant and understanding like okay, like this is like my deal. Because I was starting to have feelings for this girl. I really was. I still am, kind of. We're going to get into that because shit's complicated. But anyway. um, Yeah. So, old girl, my co-worker, Miracle. Like, with her, she just got, like, real bubbly energy. Like, um, my, my face, when I'm... You know, just chilling. My resting face looks like I'm pissed all the time, right? 
And I know she sees that and she's always trying to make me smile, make me laugh. And she does. Like she she just, you know, she just got that energy to her. She just, she makes me happy. She makes me happy. Um so yeah, it um it didn't take much for me to feel for her, honestly. But then like First two months of knowing her, I was like, okay, yeah, like, I should say, she got a boyfriend, which don't really mean that much to me, because we talked about her nigga, and she, like, she not finna be with that nigga, she not, um, but, yeah, so, she just one of my favorite people to be around, now, I haven't, well, we flirt all the time, but I haven't, um, like, pushed anything, like, relationship, sexual, or anything like that, just because my, like I said, shit's complicated right now, like, I have <clears throat> a situation with this one dude, and I know for a fact that it's not, we're not finna be together like that, but it's still complicated because he feels me in a way that I don't necessarily feel for him. Like, I love dude, but not in a romantic way, right? Um, that video I did, like, loving someone versus being in love, that nigga, right? Um, so there's that, and then it's also been a while since I've contemplated, like, being with a female, like, in a long-term relationship, in a relationship in any capacity, honestly. Um, it's just been a minute. Like, I've, that, that's the thing. Like, being around her, like, actually made me start to consider again. I was like, damn, like, a family? Like, living together with a girl? Like, not not being married, because I still don't want to get married. And I told her that. And she, she's fine with that. Not not like we getting, we, we've discussed shit. You feel me? We, yeah. Not like getting married or, you know, even being in a relationship. But, you know, we always flirting with each other. We always touching up on each other, you know. So... I mean, we talk, we talk, um, but you know, another thing where her that, um, causes me to like, not, you know, necessarily make that jump, that next step, you feel me? Um, we don't have a lot in common, like, even though it's always good vibes when I'm around her, um, uh, she's a fiend, like a real fiend, like, if I had met her two and a half years ago, we, we would have been inseparable. I would have been around that girl all the time. But <clears throat> for certain reasons, I had to cut back on my smoking to the point where I don't, I really, I really don't smoke like that no more. Um, I do edibles and shit, but. But you know, whenever whenever I'm around her, whenever she she smokes every day, every single day, all day, like, so, <laughs> yeah, and then also like, even with smoking lately, or like, not lately, but like the past few times I have smoked, or like within the past year or so, I just been getting hella anxiety, and I I don't I don't like that shit. Like, you know, I used to feel hella relaxed. I used to be always happy when I was faded, but yeah, it just, it'd be, it'd be making me anxious. It'd be making me stressed out a lot of the time. Um, so that was another reason I had to stop. But, you know, when I'm around her, that's all she really want to do. She don't watch TV, you know, she don't roller skate. She likes, you know, nature and shit, but not the way that I do, you feel me, so, when we around each other, it's not a whole lot that we, when we around each other outside of work, 
that it's not a whole lot that we really really vibe on you feel me um so that's her now my other girl um uh, mentioned her before my neighbor her name is Kira and with her it's uh it's not the same bubbly energy I mean it to a certain extent like she she makes me happy too um but she also she's gone through a lot in her life um shit that people just shouldn't have like people in general like i would never wish i wouldn't wish what she's gone through on my worst enemy that type of shit right um so with her like we we can have conversations we can talk about anything i'm like I, I do enjoy listening to people, so she always I'm always there for her to tell me about her problems and you know what's going on with her, her day, all that. And you know, we we bring each other comfort. Like she's one of the Yeah, I think she not the first she's probably the second she's the second girl and I'm not talking about miracle. But she's the second girl in my life that's really made me like feel at peace. Like when I'm when I'm laying up with her, like, like I love that girl. I do. Like I love her. And I don't know if you can necessarily say that it's. I would say it's as close to romantic as I can be with a woman at this point in my life, right? Because um, yeah, she like, she just, she brings me comfort. I'm there to comfort her when she needs it, right? And it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a little strange because the way we initially started like talking like that. Um, it was kind of out the blue. I mean, we we lived in the same building for like eight years, and she a little older than me. I think she like uh, like maybe four, maybe five years older than me. So, you know, she seen me growing up from like a teenager. Um, and, you know, it probably wasn't, it wasn't until, like, earlier, like, early this year that she told me, like, she was, <clears throat> she was the one that told me, like, she was feeling me like that. She was, like, 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 she, when she first told me, she told me she loved me, and... I was caught off guard because up to that point we we had always had like not like significant like you know face not like significant like um yeah like face to face interaction most of the time it would just be like you know if she was um how do I Okay, well, basically, it was more more so like, uh, pass you in the hall, what's up, you know, how you doing, how's your day, give you a hug type shit, right? Um, at least it's, that's what it was as far as I can remember. Um, you know, you know, sometimes, you know, people remember things differently than you do, and, and certain events are more significant to them than it was to you, so you just forget certain shit, right? Um... But at least that's what it was to me. So when she told me, she was like, Caleb, like, I love you. I was like, I, I don't remember what I said exactly. But I know, like, I was I was kind of shocked. Um, but I also wasn't thinking about in the way that she loved me at that moment. <coughs> um, because it, it, it probably wasn't a romantic way at that time um 
but anyway, um, from that point on, like, I decided, like, okay, like, you know, it's like, you know, she fine as hell, like, she's into me for some reason, like, let me see what this girl's about, and she, like, from, from what I, I've seen and heard from her mother, um, let's just say our interactions haven't been good. Um, you know, I was a little skeptical at first, but she's like a real genuine person. Like I trust her. Uh, like I trust her and I want, I want to be there for her. I don't want to see her hurt. Nothing like that. Um, like the way I care for her is really similar to how I care for my, my, my first dude. Um, the first nigga that I like fell in love with cause you know I could tell just from our our body chemistry that he was in a lot of pain also right so I wanted to be for it be there for him in the same way like I was I was happy to just be his comfort I'm happy to just be her comfort you feel me and like I mentioned in the previous video with her, like there was one time when we did get physical, I just stopped myself for the same reason that, um, same reason I haven't uh, initiated more with with Miracle with Kira is just because like I don't at this point in my life I don't really know. what it could be like i don't want to i don't want to disappoint nobody i don't want people to get like for people's feelings to get stronger and then like i'm just sit, sitting here like i don't know because i've been there before i've like i've been there before where like you know i i thought i felt more strongly for a person and then like you know maybe a month or some weeks later i'm just like damn like was i wrong like i, I wasn't feeling the way I know that I should feel. Y'all understand? So, yeah. Um, that's the reason I haven't done nothing with either of them. I just, I don't want to disappoint them. And I, it's, it's not simple at this point. It's really not. Like, there's a part of me that wants kids does I, I like I said I don't want to be married but there's a part of me that wants kids and and wants like a family and then there's a part of me that wants to be with a nigga it's just it's just a lot right now but yeah anyway y'all uh go like comment subscribe Send me y'all two cents. What y'all think? Have y'all been in similar situations before? All that kind of stuff. Because, you know, that helps my understanding. Right? Um, I'll catch y'all in the next one.